Hello everyone, Luke here and welcome back to the channel. So I absolutely love this bamboo quad bike that Rob built in video number 1155. And it would be such a shame to see this just dismantled and reused for its parts. So I decided to do something a little bit cool with this and that is to turn it into a truck. But not your regular standard truck where you have one wheel on the front and two wheels on the back. I want that in a reverse orientation so we have two wheels on the front and one wheel on the back. So let's take a look. There is a real reason why I want the orientation of the wheels to be like that, and it's not just because I like it. It's the fact how an axle with two wheels in it can be a little bit troublesome, especially if you don't spend the money on a real axle. So, with this wheel, all I've really got to do is chop the back stays off a bike, position them correctly, and basically attach it. And it's going to be a piece of cake, really, and that's why I've decided to do it like this. Right, before we run off and start cutting, welding and grinding, I want to talk about this wheel a little bit more. So, as you can see, it's got this humongous cog in it, and Rob did a video on this quite a while ago, and if you're interested in that, the video number is 1084, and he just goes through the technique for this. So, with this massive cog, it should give us a huge gear ratio, and I'm pretty sure we worked it out to be something around 8 to 1, which is massive. So, this is going to be awesome. So, let's take a look at the back stays. Here are my back stays, and obviously these need a little bit of modification, so it's going to be able to fit the wheel and the humongous cog that it's got attached to it. So, I think I figured out a way to do this, and it basically means chopping this bit in half that way, and that way, so we can extend this out and pretty much weld it onto a longer pole. And then, the top bit, it will get chopped here and here. It will get pushed into where the original position was, these top bits will get wrapped against the frame and this middle section will be cut out. And obviously we need to make sure that the frame has enough support. So we'll add a support here, 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 and here. And then the bottom of this will get attached the exact same way the original axle was attached, just with a couple of U-bolts. So now that we know the build process, let's get on with it. And there you have it, I finally got the wheel attached, but I also did all the things that I said I would do. So I've got the supporting brackets here and here, there's two more under here. I know you can't see them, but I promise you that they are there. So that should be able to take the weight and it should support this wheel at the back. And now that this wheel is attached, I think this thing is looking awesome. So let's see if it can take my weight. Okay, so this is the first time I've sat in it since I've attached that back wheel. So I'm very hopeful, even though I know it's definitely going to take my weight. So, let's get inside of it. <laughs> Would you look at that? That is truly awesome. With that back wheel being attached, there's actually very little that I actually have to do. One of which is be attaching all the electronics, showing you guys the drive system which I'm super excited about and take the thing out into the car park to razz it about a little bit but you guys are going to have to wait till the next episode to see that so make sure you keep your eyes peeled but with that being said that does bring me to the end of this video I really hope you enjoyed it and if you have any questions don't hesitate to put them in the comments and I'll try my best to answer them all anyway guys I hope you have a great day and I will see you later